Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be doing it today's video because it's been highly requested just basically doing my top organizing hacks slash tips. And this video is going to be a bit hard for me to make because I have so many favorites, but I'm going to kind of go through the more innovative tips. So, you know, using items that you normally wouldn't use for certain things for organizing. Anyways, also letting you know I'm running a recharge challenge over on my Facebook community and on my Instagram. So it's gonna go for two weeks and every day for two weeks, I wanna be giving you guys an area of your house to declutter and also like a health wellness task to do. So if you're someone who's in lockdown like me, we're in week six now of lockdown, um, I'm hoping that can really help you guys, you know, refocus, declutter your space and also like your mental space as well. So if you guys want to be part of my free challenge, um, I'll link the blog below and also my community page. So basically I'm doing some prizes as well. So this is worldwide. Whoever participates the most and use the hashtag SP recharge um, will win a prize at the end. So whoever's the most active in like the community and on Instagram sharing their tasks each day. Yeah, I just hope it can really give us like a bit of a recharge that we all need right now. Anyways, when I get stuck into today's video, this is a good kind of a organizing summary for someone who just kind of wants to get those harder to organize parts done in their house. So yes, let's get started. So my first one has to be using the Kmart flip lid container for things like snacks. This is such a versatile container. And I know Kmart at the moment is always bloody sold out of them, but when, if you can get your hands on them, do it. You can use this for toys. I also use this for my shopping bags, which I'll show you in a second. It's on wheels as well. This is perfect as your backstock container. So when I mean backstock, I'll show you mine. It's down here. So this is a container where if I buy extra like cereals or pastas that won't fit in the container, I pop it in there. So you could also use this as your backstock container. Also great for Lego, like so much of kids toys and craft. It is amazing. So if I can find the links to everything, I'll pop them below for you guys. But yeah, just using things like this so you can throw them in, but it just keeps it all contained, which I love. My labels are all Little Label Co. My code is STEFT. So it's STEFT for a discount on all their products. So that is my first one. Here you can see I've used them for shopping bags. Super handy. So these are just the reusable ones. Keeps them all contained and together. So this is our butler's pantry under the sink. Next up would definitely have to be the drink bottle holder hack. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I've done a reel on this recently. So these are literally wine holders from Kmart. You can also get a wine rack um, from Ikea where you just have to buy the wine and you can fit quite a few. So I'll put a picture for you guys. So yeah, it just keeps all your drink bottles handy. And obviously the reason I do this is because some of these drink bottles won't fit in this shelf standing up. So it's better to have layers of them. Obviously it depends on your like cupboard space or whatever but otherwise you can actually just see what you've got but i find it so much more functional this way so yes absolutely love this you can also do this for like your shaker protein shakers i'll show you this is my other cupboard so i've got a little double shelf here and then i use it for like you know my protein shakers and stuff like that just keeps everything much more tidy this is my little health cupboard i'm obsessed <laughs> Next, that would definitely have to be using Lazy Susans for like all your condiments and stuff like that. It stops you from having to try and reach to the back and then everything gets knocked over. So you can get these from Little Lab Co, Ikea, Kmart, pretty much anywhere. And I use them for our spreads at the bottom here too. So it just makes really good use of space. This is perfect for corner cupboards too. So if you have a corner pantry, this is what you need to have. So any corners, pop one of these in there. I also have one of these in my fridge, which I'll show you. So this is in my fridge, got a label on it, of course, cause it's me, <laughs> I'm shocking, I'm obsessed. Um, so this is the clear one from Kmart and that's how, um, I'll do like a full, I think I've actually got a fridge organization video for you guys. So I'll link that below, but yes, love using this, these turntables and you can also use this for kids crafts. So like have little cups of all their pens and pencils and coloring and crayons um, so they can just spin it. Super handy. All right, guys, probably one of my favorite hacks of all time, the Tupperware drawer. Sorry, container drawer, whatever you guys want to call it. I know Tupperware is actually a brand of containers, but here in Australia, we just tend to say Tupperware. Well, that's what I do anyway. So these are all my containers. So basically, I like to layer the bottoms together, like stack them together. 
And then this is just a file holder from Kmart. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a white one. And I just like file all the lids in there together. So that's literally how I organize my Tupperware drawer slash container drawer. Um, it's just a lot easier that way. So just even if you don't have heaps of space, even just really culling and going through your Tupperware, like you don't need a lot of containers. Like just go through what you really need. And that's what I've done because I used to have so many, so many I would never use. So that's what I did. And then file all of the lids together. So as you can see, you just like pop them in. Easy peasy. Next favorite organizing hack would definitely have to be using little drawers under your sink. Your space under the sink can be super hard to just organize and know what to do. So these Kmart drawers are actually a few years old and they don't sell them anymore, but you can get similar ones from Ikea. So they're really, really handy to have. So we've got um, like dishwashing tablets, which I've labeled, of course. <laughs> then it keeps like sponges. I've got dish cloths down the bottom there. It just makes it a lot more functional, which is amazing. And then up here, I use little command hooks to hang like little cleaning cloths. So yeah, even if you're renting, this is something like a lot of these hacks you can literally do when you're renting and you can have a really nice organized home. Use this little space too for sponges, which I need to get some more of. But yeah, it just makes it really handy to have everything kind of in one spot. And it, it is a very awkward spot to have. So yes, love this little hack. Drawers under the sink. All right, guys, next up is using a cutlery caddy for your junk drawer. So this is like, I love to call this my organized chaos. We all have a junk drawer to just chuck our crap into. So having something like this, this is a really large Ikea one. It's their wooden, I think it's a Very Aero series. I'll link you guys below. And I just like put all the cables. I just literally like loop them up like this. It just keeps them a lot more tidier. But yes, using this for your junk drawers and even just having this for even like kids craft, there's so much things you can do with this. It is the best little hack ever. And yes, I still have to declutter this probably once a month because it is a junk drawer. It's going to get messy every day. That's what it's for. But having it like this, it just makes it a little bit more organized. <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty much all the tips for the kitchen. So now I'm going to move on to other sections and categories of the house. One thing I really always like to stress with you guys when I talk about organization is it's like fitness. It's something that you have to continually work at every day, every week. You don't just get fit and then you stay like that. It's, you know, something that you have to continually do. It's a habit. So it's the same with organizing and decluttering. Like I literally spend at least five minutes a day tidying up a certain drawer or if a table's starting to get cluttered just getting rid of stuff you don't need and then i always like to have the rule of you're going to buy something it's good to like donate or get rid of something as well so make sure a bit more mindful with what you're buying and when you guys think of organizing your home i don't want you to think of the big picture i don't want you to think of the whole house because it's super overwhelming and i don't have like no one has time to do their whole house in a day well, I don't and it's good to just do it bit by bit section by section do a drawer each day a cupboard each day just little bit by little bit and just like chip away at it so that's the best way to kind of look at organizing all right guys so the next organization hack is using the Ikea magazine holder for like your mail I love using this in the office so I actually have one of these in the office that says um like bills to file that type of thing, like miscellaneous mail and all that stuff. So we actually have a section for each family member. You guys would have seen this probably in some of my videos before. So this is perfect too for like school kids so they can come home, pop any notes from the teacher in there and everything is just all like sectioned off. And then the bottom one's more like a miscellaneous just for everyone. So this is really great for school kids and stuff like that. And then nothing is gonna get lost. Utilizing your wall space, this is really gonna help you stop getting clutter on like your kitchen bench, the dining table, all that stuff. So all this paper would normally probably end up on the kitchen bench, but because we have this system, it doesn't. It stays here and it just makes life a lot easier at the end of the day when you're cleaning up. Ron and I actually used to live in a one bedroom unit. I've spoken about this before, but that's what got me into organizing and decluttering because we literally had no room. I had to share the linen closet with my pantry. There was just no space. And that's when I kind of got into organizing because I had to really maximize the space we had. So I promise you, yes, I do have a big pantry now. 
and lots of great storage now, but I didn't always have that. And that's why I love organizing. All right, guys, so this is kind of our random cupboard that we just keep, I don't know, random stuff in. Next hack I love is this. So this is actually from Ikea. It's supposed to be for like plastic bags. And you actually, I would love to secure this to the wall. It just didn't work for me, but this is perfect for those who are strapped for space. You stick this to the wall and I actually use, use this to store wrapping paper. Perfect, so much easier like that. So yes, you can obviously use this for plastic bags, which is what it's meant to be. But yeah, love using this for your wrapping paper. This is our little, you know, birthday section, I guess. I used to give my parents so much crap for keeping like gift bags and then reusing it. And now I literally do the same thing, but I even have it labeled. It shows my age, doesn't it? So yes, gift bags are in there. Birthday cards, you can buy them in bulk off eBay. Cause I hate being caught out when there's a birthday party on, especially for the kids and I don't have stuff for their friends. So at least this little area keeps me organized. It is the best thing ever. Next up is the kids artwork. I use the suspension file tubs. Love these, these are from Officeworks. Obviously, depending on how many kids you have, it depends on your system. And obviously with this, kids bring home a lot of artwork. Like I've got to um, file them. I usually make a little pile and then I'll file it at the end of each week or end of every fortnight. But yes, this is how I do it. And it just obviously depends on how cutthroat you want to be with your culling. But I just have everything labeled, of course. And then I just store their like best work. And if you are someone I do struggle to let go, you can actually scan their artwork and keep digital files of them on your computer. There's also really cool businesses that you can, they scan it, actually make it into like a little photo book for you. So that's another idea you can do it. So it goes all the way up to your six. I will probably obviously need a couple of these. So that's how I love to store their artwork. So for this, all you need is some suspension files, these little clear tabs, the um these are dymo labels so i'll link all this below for you guys as well and you just label it as you like so next up is family documents same kind of system i did this because ron and i used to move house a lot we've moved house like nine times now hence why i'm very good at decluttering so i got this as a smaller suspension file holder so just enough for your like really important stuff so you got like birth certificates marriage certificates passports medical mortgage documents and then you like your car stuff so and i also keep at the back um like our christmas photos our family ones just for now until i figure out a better system but yes just got little label co label and yeah it's just really easy especially this is great obviously too like if you are in a, a bushfire zone because then you can literally grab it and run having like those kind of systems in place will make life a lot easier in case of emergency Right now, every time we moved house, I would never find, be able to find our passport or anything. So this saves any arguments as well. So yes, love this system. It's worked for us for years now. All right, guys, next up is probably my favorite kids hack, which is how I store out their puzzles. So this is a Kmart file holder, which I used for a lot of things, which I'll show you next as well. But in here are these babies. These are life changing. So these are carry cases from Kmart. You can also get them from Woolworths. Pretty much everywhere has them now. And you can actually store any A4 puzzles in them and it stops them from losing the puzzle pieces. Well, most of them, as you can see, they have lost some. <laughs> and then I also put like stencils in there. You can store so much in them. They are the best. Even um, like recipes, like when I used to get HelloFresh, I put the recipe cards in there. So yeah, they're just the A4 ones. You can find them in the stationery section and they're $2 to $3 each. So really budget friendly and it just is a lot easier to store them all. And another one is, you know, those kids flashcards. This is actually a photo container. So like the old school photos used to print out, which I still love them. Yeah, I actually store their flashcards in there and you can label these too if you want to go another level. But yeah, you just pop them in there, keep them all together and safe. And there's some stencils in there too. Even like playing cards, this is great if you play a lot of different card games and you just don't know how to organize it. So that's that one. As I mentioned before, I use the file holders a lot for things like their drawing books, activity books, and then over here back in my other side of the cupboard, 
things like warranties and manuals. I will say though, like your manuals, you can actually get rid of them and just download the digital version. So I will be doing that soon, but I will still keep the warranties because I feel like they're important. Or you can also scan them and keep a digital copy, but that's just how I do it. So yeah, they're just the ones from Kmart. Super handy. I'm trying to make this video not go forever because I feel like I could be here all day. Literally, I could talk about organization all day. But these are just the last couple ones for like organizing like your accessories and stuff that I love. I actually did some decluttering in here on the weekend. It feels so much better. So this is from eBay. It is actually a bracelet holder. I have a lot of scrunchies. The girls have stolen half of mine, but I actually like to store my scrunchies on here. It's just really cute. It looks nice. I love it. Um, so if you just Google bracelet holder stand, it should come up. So yeah, I really, really like that one. Also using, this isn't really a hack, but it's a little tip. Also using storage boxes. You can get them from like the $2 shop. These are from Kiki K and you can store things like your hair stuff, belts, hats, all that type of thing. And it just keeps everything a lot neater. So that's another little thing I love. And of course you guys know about my wear again hook. So if you're new here, my wear again hook thing is something I came up with because it's like the clothes you've worn like once. So you can definitely wear them again, but you don't want to put them back in your wardrobe and they're too clean for the wash. So instead of like throwing them on your bed, throwing them on your chair, making a mess, you just hang it up on the wear again hook. And this is amazing for kids uniforms. Also for little kids, like the night before with my girls, they're very picky with what they wear. So yeah, we'll literally decide together the night before what they're going to wear the next day. So then there's like less fights, like 90% of the time. <laughs> so yeah, I just put a little command hook behind their door and that's removable too. So if you're renting, that's fine. And it does make the mornings run a lot smoother because girls can be, you know, well, my girls can be very fussy with their clothes. So it just stops the shit fights as much. So that's that little hack I love. Tag me if you use a wear gun hook, I'll be so proud. But yeah, it really does save your floors and your chairs in your room. Also really good too if you don't have a lot of like room in general, like hanging space, you can get a few of these command hooks and just stick them up. And lucky last, you guys know I love this one. My cutlery caddy hack. So this is for all your everyday skincare. You can do it for makeup. Normally you just chuck it on like your vanity. So I actually bought a, a cutlery caddy. So this is for cutlery. And I throw everything in there and it just keeps it all like tidy and neat. And it's literally like a life changer. I love it. So that's that one. I bought this one from a local store, but you can get some. Just Google whitewash, because for this whitewash look, Google whitewash cutlery caddy and you should be able to find some. I think Zanui might have one as well, but the store I bought this from, they don't have it anymore. But yeah, any cutlery, any cutlery caddy can do, and it's just really affordable, because I know some makeup organizers can be quite expensive. So this is super budget friendly. Love that one. I keep everything in there, like my little face rollers, my serums, my little teeth whitening pens, just like anything that you need. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helped. Again, I'll put all the links below. And if you want any other like certain organization videos, let me know. I'm thinking of possibly filming like how I organize and plan my week, like how I plan it out. So let me know if that sounds good for you guys. Um, and yeah, next week will probably be another vlog. We're still in lockdown for another four weeks. So yeah, let me know if you want more organization because I can just pump that out. That's fine. Um, anyways, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.